Hi, this is Heather from A More Crafty Life. Today I'm going to show you how to do a two color moss stitch, also known sometimes as the linen stitch or the granite stitch. This is an easy variation of the regular moss stitch. It's really just so you don't have to um, have lots of ends to weave in. Um, I made a blanket um, using this. So I'll show you what to do. So for the moss stitch, you need an even number. For this example, I'm going to crochet 12. So let's get started. This is Lily um, Sugar and Cream Cotton Yarn and a five millimeter H hook. Okay, so when you have your even number, I have 12, you are going to crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four. And you're going to do one single crochet followed by one chain. Then you skip one chain, single crochet, followed by one chain. You skip a chain, single crochet, followed by a chain one, skip one stitch, single crochet, chain one, and then single crochet in the final stitch. So that gives you the row of single crochets followed by this chain one space. You're going to chain two and turn your work. This is going to count as the first stitch in space. So you're going to single crochet in the first chain one space followed by a chain one. Then you're going to skip the single crochet from the row before and you're going to single crochet in the next chain one space, followed by one chain. Skip the single crochet, single crochet in the chain one space, followed by one chain. Skip the single crochet, single crochet in the chain space, followed by one chain. And then when you get to the end, the only thing that's a little bit tricky is your chain from before is what's considered the last stitch and this is where you single crochet. You do one single crochet. So this is what your work looks like. And right before you finish the single crochet, you're going to want to pick up your second color. So I have the two loops on here and to finish the single crochet then I would bring one through. So then I have this here. And then I want to do my two chains and my new color, which in this case is white. Okay, and then I am going to turn my work. And you see here, I have the orange from below. So what I'm going to do is I want to crochet over the orange so I don't have to weave in all the ends at the end. So I'm going to put that up here. And then when I do my um, single crochet in the chain one space, I'm gonna make sure that it's sitting on top of my yarn and that I catch it each time. So then I'm going to single crochet, chain one. Skip a space, single crochet, chain one. And you can see that the yarn just kind of sits on top of the row, kind of hiding it there. And then you just keep going as you normally would. Single crochet, chain one in the chain one space, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the chain one space. And then when you get to the end, if your last crochet before, um, when you yarn over, you use the color from that your the next row. And I kind of pull I kind of pull the um, the white tight at the bottom so it kind of goes down. 
then I chain two with the with the orange that I'm switching to and then I'm gonna put the white up here so when I crochet in this chain one space I catch the yarn and you want to make sure you don't catch the yarn from the row be below it and because then you can see it so you want to leave this yarn just sitting on top of the stitch below and then you're going to repeat And this way you can go back and forth with your um, work without um, having to weave in all the ends. And it makes um, a really neat pattern. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. You can find this pattern and more on my blog, A More Crafty Life. And the link is below in the video um, description. Thanks.